There's new reaction to the Biden administration floating the idea of a federal gas tax holiday. It's of course in response to the skyrocketing fuel prices hitting Americans' pocketbooks. Members of his administration are also waving off fears of a potential recession. Rich Edson has a closer look from Washington. Decades high inflation is hitting millions of Americans. Our biggest problem is our costs have doubled and they went up so fast and so quickly that our budget, we couldn't budget it in that fast. Biden administration officials say they're focused on slowing down growing prices. The president says he's considering a federal gas tax holiday, as well as rebate cards for drivers. He's also calling on oil companies to boost supply. What they've done is they cut back on the refining capacity. They have 9,000 leases, 9,000 leases on public land, and they should either use it or lose it. Bank of America says there's a 40 percent chance the U.S. tumbles into a recession next year. Top Biden officials say a recession is not a given. Inflation obviously is happening globally. A recession is not inevitable. The president really wants to have a steady and stable recovery. Economists are mixed whether the Federal Reserve will slow inflation without causing major economic harm. Last week, the Fed raised rates three quarters of a percentage point. Given that you went from virtually almost zero to now almost 2 percent in a very short period of time, that's, that's going to constrict the economy, uh, I think, very dramatically. Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm will discuss rising gas prices when she meets with refining executives this week. In Washington, Rich Edson, Fox News.